Good evening, and welcome to Audio Tree Live. Today is Friday, <laughs> November 7th, 2014, and we're honored to have with us Frontier Ruckus. <laughs> Thanks, you guys, so much for Great coming to be out back. Playing. Yeah, thanks yeah. again. Um, when you're ready, you can just go ahead and roll into your second song. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. We have a second no, song. Yeah. yeah this Take your... <laughs> if you got to change up, go for it. Um, I can ask about clothes. You guys are very uh, stylish people. I'd be curious to know maybe where you shop. We're trying to pull it together for this tour. <laughs> trying to make it all look good for yeah. the tour? Al's kind of new to the band, and he's really like kicking us into shape. He's got a tailor and stuff. It's the yeah. first yeah. time we're like, nice trying haircut. to get custom I like fit. a lot, like, too, yeah. You actually have a tailor, a clothing tailor? Oh, fast Eddie. Yeah. That's freaking <laughs> awesome. He's got a guy. I got a guy. <laughs> is that just a man that you know, or is Fast Eddie's like a shop? It's a shop. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Near Detroit, yep. Okay, sweet. And uh, he tailors, like, you bring him clothes to custom fit you, or he designs the clothes for custom you there? Fit. Okay. He, he fits things for me, yes. So can you just grab, like, any article of clothing and tell him to fit you? Oh, yeah. Blue sweet. jeans, shirts, whatever. Whoa. So you can buy super cheap and make it look very fancy. Dude, that is, that's seriously awesome. How did, you, how did you form a relationship with Fast Eddie? Uh, one of my coworkers told me about Fast Eddie. Okay. <laughs> and cool. we've, been, we've become pretty close. What do you, what after do you, this plug, we should get free tailoring. Yeah, <laughs> for real. <laughs> He's there, wait, where is he, Dearborn? Royal Oak. Royal Oak. Okay. Eddie's alteration. <laughs> <laughs> 
Michigan. <laughs> That's freaking awesome. Anyone else have a tailor or a custom I customizer? See, I, I got it. I got some stuff. I got to see your guy. Okay. <laughs> okay, you guys ready for? Uh, what do we? Okay. The song is called Bathroom Stall Hypnosis. audience in here today. I wish yeah. we all could hear it. Um, I'd like to know, as a like very lyrically focused band, maybe a record or a, a wordsmith that any of you, that's like important to you lyrically? Any lyricist that can take his jacket off without looking like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Um, 
All the obvious suspects, Bob Dylan, <laughs> Leonard Cohen, Paul Simon, Neil Young. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> who have I been listening to lately? Though? Yeah, what about recently? Mark Koslick. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. You s- <laughs> yeah. He's falling a little out of favor. Well, right? so, yeah. yeah. It's some kind weird of, stuff going on there. <laughs> it's kind it's of getting very topical. It's like a monologue. What else is in the news? You, hear, you see this, Mark Koslick, in the news? <laughs> you hear about this virus? It's everywhere. <laughs> no, Matt um, really did like the new album a lot. Oh, yeah, I did like, yeah, I really did. I yeah. like very, I just like mm-hmm. love specificity and lyricism. Like, sure. The more specific and graphic and personal you can get, almost to an unsettling degree. Yeah. But it's a very delicate balance at that point. Sure. Because you want to be a, like when I'm writing, I try to include images that are it's kind of challenging even to me, or or else what's the point? Um, you know, I don't like things that are just super mild. Um, but, and then you can you can unsettle the audience too much too. Sure. So any and yourself and my and yourself, yeah. Well, I haven't you gotten have to, to that point it. yet. But maybe maybe I, that's the challenge. Yeah. If you have to say it, and that's like crippling. To that's why you, the band's that, great. They're like my barometer of how far. If I push it too far. Yeah, it's right like, on. You should you should mask that you a little cut more. Cut that off. We all yeah. know what part of your body you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't say yeah. that. Others in that vein. Uh, Davey? I've always been kind of an, an obsessed Paul Simon fan. Cool. Um, I, I I always like that he's a very clever lyricist, and it's just like. He's, it's like he's your little buddy singing yeah. on your shoulder. You know, <laughs> he's just got this amazing, comforting voice. Yeah, and uh, musically, he's he's you know incredible. He's my favorite sure. songwriter. So, uh, cool, Zach. Others, yeah, Zach. I hardly know what a lyric is, but <laughs> not true. I sh- um, but uh, mm-hmm. but really, uh, someone that shaped uh, you, Matt, that you didn't mention was uh, your uh, poetry professor. Oh, yeah. Well, I studied poetry in college, and that, Zach and I both studied under Diane Wolkowski at Michigan State cool. University. And uh, yeah, that was just very, very essential for me to, because I, I was always just stylistically very verbose as a writer, and you can use that to, as an asset, or it can just kind of distract from other things you're trying yeah. to say. Yeah. So she really helped me just rein in on the crucial images, images and make each image really matter and as strong as possible. Cool. To serve some ultimate re- revelation in the piece. Right on. Do you guys still write, or do you still write? I mean, obviously in the band, yeah. but I mean outside of it. I'm doing this thing now where I'm trying to write a poem on even number days and draw like to make a drawing on odd number days. So cool. just like back and just related to the poem or no? No, just just every day something new, but like bounce back and forth between vis- visual and poetic stuff just to keep my brain working, especially cool. on the road. I'm gonna try to do that. We'll see if that happens. Yeah, no, that's a that's a really good goal. I mean, yeah. I could see that translating in the long run yeah. to you know whether visually what music you're trying to make and then mm-hmm. obvious lyrics. So yeah. Cool. All right. Uh, go into your next song. Take it away. This year's Robin's Breast is not as red. The tiredness is under. Every bed I've made is broken down The A meeting is letting out From the parking lot where my mother let me try out Driving my grandfather's car when I was just 14 The splendid world wants to end and rid us I wish it'd just get on with it and forbid us I can't keep track of what I own Brightest day was poisonous but agile And then you decay in a way so fragile The sticky shade with an ice cream cone oh. Whatever happened to the little sailboat yeah, but only once made float I used to climb upon it onto the roof Now the earwigs climb the trash can This all become a sort of watery man Pissing in my night backyard Distributing the fruit You can keep a record of all your meals And the way that each day feels Safe and well preserved in some hidden cavity But all your private and precious locales All your hidden heavens and all your pals Are gonna succumb to the brutal gravity Burst me on the sidewalk like a run over battery While my metallic inner 
more successful than sharp scorched grass is nothing else to sing about. Frontier Ruckus on Audio Tree Live. You guys can get ready to go into your next song, and I will just say that they're on tour playing the Sub T tonight, so if you're in around the Chicago area, please come check them out. And uh, through the end of December, they're continuing to tour new record sitcom Afterlife. Check that out, support the band, listen to it. Zach, you want to play a Saw song? Yeah. Frontier Ruckus on Audio Tree Live. There's this very interesting, like, <laughs> hypnotic quality about that because all, like, all the film people <laughs> zoned in on you guys while you were playing, and the way that that music, you know, is very like ethereal, sweet. Okay, you can go on to your next song. You guys want to do Crab Apples and Century Storm? Yeah, let's try it. Let me make sure I'm in tune, real quick, please. <laughs> I should yeah, please. have done that for that song. Did I sound out of tune? Not to me. That was a little out of tune. What a shame. Luckily, you were playing with a sliding instrument. Mm. That's true. Good call. song so it'll be really long if it's not perfectly in tune. Mm. You guys having fun? Oh yeah. Say that you've forgotten, but I know that you're rotten in your sweet little way. Like the crab apples themselves, like ornaments fermented in the suspense of their sweet decay. Station one. Yeah. 
Maybe I took that for granted Somehow my lips never left for the back of your neck slanted Oh my little wastrel, my sweet lost friend My kiss is in the tendrils of your rented house I feel that it snares me in Suspend a girl but the crab apples Then sells like ornaments That's what you said one morning Looking out the back window of my parents One some morning so fine They're inside that book I gave you Maybe there's a line you wrote to remind Or to save you Pretty boys, sell shitty boys They mark down all their telling Catch phrases that vaporize within us There's a lot where washing all ends that you might recall. I know the way your body bends in the park manor, still in pens, a smoking frozen moment in the cataclysm of it all. I know your girlhood diary pens, I read it back to you with tenderness inside that summer bed across your mother's hall. Well, did I die inside the cleanse of lighting sun like here on end? We were perfect at just pens, it's all just sand and squall. You still hung when night descends, I thought it was your calmness then. It's your motor pen, him, animals trapped in your wall. All the boys that you fucked over eventually got out of the Still stuck behind the counter The streets we used to take The cracking of the lake I'll never get that final point You were barely even trying to make Frontier Ruckus on Audio Tree Live. Whoever is keeping official time, would you tell me, do we have time for two more or one more? Just so they know. Anybody. Okay, one more. One more is perfect if you guys cool. know. So I'll give you a chance to think about that while you tell me in the theme of the record, uh, sitcom that you're currently into. Whether, whether one that you're re-watching or something like that. I re recently just watched a kind of obscure and forgotten uh, 90s sitcom called Boston Common. Do you guys remember that? I don't know that, it's no. It's really only available now in really low-grade YouTube installments. Okay, yeah. <laughs> that somebody ripped yeah. and uploaded. It's like, and it's two seasons, and the second season ends very abruptly because okay. they just canceled it. Yeah. But I was quite invested. And I would, if, you watch, you know, if you're watching it on YouTube, you're, it's pretty good. You know, if you're watching it on YouTube? Yeah, and like oh. part 20, part yeah, 21. Yeah, part 21, <laughs> yeah, part 30, yeah. Uh, it's a. It was a charming little. It was a brother and sister, t like uh, that moved up from West Virginia to Boston. So they're like out of their element and like really kind of. <laughs> but she like got into a like a uh, New England college. Hijinks ensue. That's awesome. Others. 
Anybody else? I haven't watched that much of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, yeah. but um, Connor and Alex, our rhythm section, uh, have been kind of like <laughs> live acting it for us. And okay. They, they sit in the back of the van and they're kind and of... just act it out? Yeah, they act it out for me. So it's like, <laughs> it's kind of like I'm watching TV. That's pretty great. <laughs> so you, you ever, guys are big Sunny fans? We are, yep. Sweet. Yeah. Connor brought, what, eight seasons on Oh, DVD? so you have them. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. well, they they, they yeah. have that too, but... Yeah. That's for their own research so they can do a better job. <laughs> exactly. Right. So they can act them out like more accurately. Yeah. I feel you. Yeah. Uh, episodes that you can remember that you like a lot. So <laughs> I know many. that's hard. There's I like, so many. I like Frank's Beauties a lot. That's oh, one Frank's of my favorites. We were just talking about Frank's Little Beauties. So yeah, that's one of my favorites. <laughs> what about you, Davey? Uh, I'm always, uh, Fraser is always in constant rotation. Okay. Probably with sure. all of us. My birthday was yesterday and. Uh, Zach, for my present, gave me a Frasier script that never aired. Great, Whoa. great gift. Whoa, how'd you find that? Zach gave oh, it Oh, Zach, to sorry. Oh, how'd uh, you find it? People used to try out for a television show by right. writing uh, a spec for a show. So there are probably a bunch of them floating around. Dang. Uh, so I, this was on a resume website for uh, a writer. Someone who wrote for like Buffy the Vampire Slayer and that sort of thing. Cool. Wow. Do, you ever, do you ever watch Coach? No, I've never seen it. No, you gotta check it out. Okay, yeah, <laughs> it's uh, it's good. I know that that yeah. dude is that that dude who's now in um that sad thing at Parenthood, the old yeah. the okay yeah because yeah. that's like uh, his original show right? I don't Craig remember. Craig T Nelson. Yeah, Craig T Nelson. Yeah. yeah. Okay, no, but I've never seen it. It's Worth a, watching. It's, oh yeah, it's okay. great, especially the first few seasons. Okay, are, cool. Are pretty top notch. And then uh, yeah. Ask us about songwriters. Be like, we talk for like thirty seconds. Sitcoms, we talk for like thirty <laughs> talk minutes. For like eight hours. Yeah. <laughs> we have to like that kind force, of band. Force yeah. people to talk about songwriters. Well, you kind of feel like you can't say any like. Everyone probably says the same set of songwriters. Yeah. Right. You know? we're, we're not in the sitcom like, world yet. Yeah. yeah. So it's like you know we yeah. can. It's more fun. Yeah, and you don't like offend anyone, but you yeah. also or like pump anybody up too much. Yeah, yeah for sure. All right, guys, take it away. <clears throat> Wings is also one of my favorites of all time. Wings, yeah. <laughs> I held three strands, but I lost one. Dark as the land surrounding Boston. On the train that back scratched the windows. Backs of
Frontier Ruckus on Audio Tree Live. Check them out on tour and support them by getting the new record. Thanks, you guys, again for playing. Thank you. Thank you. For sure. Thanks to uh, Goose Island. Thanks to awesome people in the studio and sound engineers, camera and lighting crew, hooking it up, and viewers. Thanks for watching. Support the band by downloading the session when it comes out in a few weeks. And send a shout via social media to us or the band if you just want to connect. From all of us here at the Audio Tree Studio, thanks for tuning in. Goodbye.